16 years ago when I came into the program in 95, we got levied to come here. We had to pay to come here and train. So in the time that I've been in here, which some of you guys have been alive for, this program has changed. I can't even say 100%, it's changed a thousand percent. We're working hard changing the mentality so that this sport's not looked at as a disabled sport. It's looked at as a mainstream sport. A sport that when you tell people that you play wheelchair basketball, they actually know what it is. I don't try to inspire these guys. What I try to do is treat them like elite athletes. You never have a bad day you know, when you're amongst them because you know they're going through you know, something just as hard just to even get up and get on court. You know, some of the boys just amaze me just with what they've got to go through just to make it to the end of the day. The thing that got me interested in, in the first place is still probably the thing that's kept me here is the mateship, the, the friends you make, the, the atmosphere that we have as a rollers team. How do I inspire the 12 most inspiring people I know? What am I going to say to you know, Yannick Blair, who car accident at 12 years of age and spent six weeks in hospital in a coma? What am I going to say to him about dealing with adversity? What am I going to say to Adam Dean, who fought cancer and beat cancer, to come back and, and the next thing he's knocking on the door of a World Cup? I think I'm very fortunate to be the person at the moment who's in charge of this team and this, this group of guys who I consider you know, one of the best sporting teams Australia's ever produced.